A great day to learn, young scientists. Another week for another learning adventure. Welcome to Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. So hang on tight, for we will answer your what, why, and how questions. Let us discover the beauty of the world together. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Let me take you where your imagination will allow you to go. This is your science teacher, teacher maybe. Come and join me in our short yet exciting science adventure. Welcome back, my dear young scientists. For this week, another learning opportunity awaits. In today's episode, we will be describing changes in solid materials. Yes, you heard it right. Changes in solid materials. Solid materials undergo changes in their characteristics. What are the ways of changing solid materials in terms of size, shape, texture, and more? Together, we will find out. So prepare your self-learning module, pen, and paper. These materials will be helpful as we go through our adventure today. In Science 4, let's make learning enjoyable for all. It's time for us to start this game we call Guess That Object! Let's see how good you are in guessing the names of objects and identifying if they are solid, liquid, or gas. Your goal is to name the object based on the given picture and determine if the material is solid, liquid, or gas. Are you ready, kids? Thumbs up if you are ready. Let's start. What is this object? We use this furniture to store our clothes. The answer is cabinet. Is a cabinet solid, liquid, or gas? It is solid. What is this object? We use this in coloring our artwork. The answer is crayon. Is crayon solid, liquid, or gas? It is solid. What is this object? We drink this when we are thirsty. The answer is water. Is water solid, liquid, or gas? Water is liquid. What is this object? We cannot see it. But we can feel it and we inhale it. The answer is air. Is air solid, liquid, or gas? Air is gas. What is this object? We use this in paying for the items we buy. is coin. Is a coin solid, liquid, or gas? It is solid. Were you able to name the objects correctly? What about in identifying if they are solid, liquid, or gas? If you got all of the correct answers, 
this first big star is for you. For the past lessons, you have learned that matter is all around us. Matter can be in different forms such as solid, liquid, and gas. Most of the materials that were mentioned in our short game were made of solid materials. A cabinet, crayon, and coin are all materials that are in solid form. Can you still remember the characteristics of solids? What are they? Solid materials have definite shape and volume. They have a fixed shape and size which takes up space. You can hold solid. Solid materials have different characteristics or properties such as size, shape, color, texture, and weight. In this lesson, you will think of some ways by which you can change the solid materials and then observe the changes that happen to each material. Let's have paper as an example. Do you think we can do something to change the characteristics or properties of this paper? What can we do? We can cut it. We can crumple it. We can fold it. We can tear it. Trivia! Do you know that the word paper comes from the word papyrus? Or from papyrus plant where Egyptians made a kind of paper from several centuries ago? Due to the danger brought about by this pandemic, staying at home is the safest way to avoid catching the virus. While staying at home, we also get to discover different materials in our environment which we may have not noticed before that are actually useful. We just need to be resourceful. In this poem by May Natividad, a child like you shares his experience and his resourcefulness in keeping his things safe and new. Let's hear from our friend here who is maybe just like you. This is entitled, Bend It, Stretch It, Hammer It, Break It. Come and read with me. Bend It, Stretch It, Hammer It, Break It by May Natividad. At home, I know, a wood cabinet is hard. I can't bend nor stretch it. But then I found in my room my broken crayons, pencils, and metal key lied in the window. My younger brother played with them, so I placed them in a row. My mother saw these and she gave me coins to buy a metal case that is new. So I got on my bicycle and bought a hammer. But along the way, I found a tin can, so I did bring it home too. I pressed and hammered a tin can to make a pencil case. So this time I know all things I can keep in it surely will be safe and always look new. What are the different solid materials mentioned in the poem? Let's name them. Wood cabinet. Crayon. Pencils. Metal key. Coins. Metal case. Bicycle. Tin can. There are different solid materials found at home. These materials have their own properties or characteristics such as size, shape, color, texture, weight, and more. From the poem, 
some of the solid objects like crayons, pencils, and metal keys underwent changes when the younger brother in the poem broke them. Also with a tin can when the character himself pressed and hammered it. Solid materials can be changed through many ways. Let's find out more. With the given materials like a paper clip, rubber band, aluminum rod, and wooden stick, what can we do to change the characteristics or properties of these materials? Let's start with the paper clip. What can we do to change the characteristics or properties of the paper clip? We can bend it again or straighten it. What happens to the paper clip when it is bent? There are changes in shape and size. Next is the rubber band. What can we do to change the characteristics or properties of the rubber band? We can stretch it. What happens to the rubber band when it is stretched? There are changes in its shape and size. Next is aluminum rod. What can we do to change the characteristics or properties of the aluminum rod? We can bend it or hammer it. Please be careful in handling the materials. They can hurt. What happens to the aluminum rod when it is bent and hammered? There are changes in its shape and size. Next is the wooden stick. What can we do to change the characteristics or properties of the wooden stick? We can break it. What happens to the wooden stick when we break it? There are changes in its shape and size. If you got all of them correctly, it's time for you to gain your second star. Solid materials can be changed through many ways like cutting, tearing, folding, twisting, bending, stretching, pressing, coloring, crumpling, melting, and others. Such actions can change the material size, shape, color, texture, and other characteristics or properties. Today, we will focus on changing some solid materials through bending. In Science 4, let us explore. Let us bend each of the solid materials. Observe and describe what happens to each material. Our first material is a soft plastic ruler. Observe what happens to the soft ruler once we bend it. What happens to the soft plastic ruler when bent? There are changes in its shape and size. Is a new material formed when the soft plastic ruler is bent? No, only the physical appearance of the soft ruler changes. Our second material is a copper wire. Observe what happens to the copper wire once we bend it. What happens to the copper wire when it is bent? There are changes in its shape and size. Is a new material formed when the copper wire is bent? No, only 
only the physical appearance of the copper wire changes. Our third material is a slipper. Observe what happens to the slipper once we bend it. What happens to the slipper? There are changes in its shape and size. Is a new material formed when the slipper is bent? No, only the physical appearance of the slipper changes. Solid materials can be bent. When bent, these materials may change in size and shape. No new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of the materials is changed. Bending of solid materials is applied in situations like bending of steel bars or iron bars in industry, in constructing concrete houses and infrastructures, roads, bridges, and in making different types of vehicles for transportation. Our bodies are capable of bending too, thanks to our joints in our elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, and more. To sustain our physical and mental fitness, we need our daily exercise. So, let's do some stretching and bending. To lead us with our activity, we have here our fitness buddy, Teacher Kirby. Hello, Teacher Kirby. Can you tell our young scientists here what are the benefits of daily stretching and bending? Hello everyone! Exercise like bending and stretching can make our bones and muscles strong. It also improves our mental capacity to think and learn. Wow! It really helps us stay physically fit and mentally strong. Just remember, do not overbend your body. This may cause you harm. Shall we start? Join us as we move our bodies in our stretching and bending activity. First, let us inhale and exhale. Do this 10 times. Next, stand straight, raise your right hand, and bend your body to the left. Do this 10 times. Next, stand straight again, this time, raise your left hand, bend your body to the right. Do this 10 times. Thank you, Teacher Kirby. Our bodies can bend too. Bending and stretching can strengthen our bones and muscles. Just remember, do not overbend your body. This can cause injury. Take extra care in bending your body or in doing other physical activities. For our last activity, identify which solid material can be bent. Put a check mark in the second column if the material can be bent. Put an X mark if it cannot be bent. Our first material is a stone. A stone cannot be bent. Our second material is a chalk. A chalk cannot be bent. Our third material is an eraser. An eraser can be bent. Our fourth material is a glass. A glass cannot be bent. Our fifth material are copper wires. Copper wires can be bent. Our sixth material is a ceramic plate. A 
ceramic plate cannot be bent. Our seventh material are iron nails. Iron nails can be bent. Our eighth material are steel bars. Steel bars can be bent. Our ninth material is a ball pen. A ball pen cannot be bent. Our tenth material is a metal spoon. A metal spoon can be bent. Did you get all of the items right? If you do, it's time for you to gain your third and last star. Always remember, solids have a definite shape and volume. You can hold solids. They have different characteristics or properties such as size, shape, color, texture, and weight. Solid materials can be changed through many ways like cutting, tearing, folding, twisting, bending, stretching, pressing, coloring, crumpling, melting, and others. When bent, these materials may change their size and shape, but no new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of these materials is changed. That's all for today, young scientists. I hope you had fun in Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. I hope we had answered your what, why, and how questions. Follow your imagination wherever it allows you to go. This is your science teacher, teacher maybe. Thank you for joining me in our short yet exciting science adventure. Watch out for more changes in solid materials in the next episode. Only here on DepEd TV.